Well, I would say it's not a risk, it's a fact today. It's a fact that the security situation and the concerns around it are overtaking everything in the region. As you said, justifiably so, the government of the region are focusing on that. Um, and therefore, at the expense of all the other endeavours expected of them. As you know, this is a very poor region where already basic services were very, very weak. And, uh, you know, the budget uh, being now mostly used for security purposes, all the rest suffers. The United Nations and other partners are underlining to the government of the region that uh, this is a vicious circle. We explain and we reiterate that providing basic services, education, employment to the youth, to the rural population, opportunities to, you know, to have a livelihood is very important. And some of our projects in the region have focused on these aspects. While we support these countries, um, strengthen their capacity to face security challenges, we also engage in other activities to build resilience of the population, to strengthen the capacity of states to avail basic services. The Sahel is increasingly getting the attention of the international community. This is attested by the multiple strategies that bilateral partners and multilateral partners have been developing vis-à-vis -vis the Sahel. The attention is that is one reason to be, to be optimistic. The second one that uh, we have been witnessing is the increasing mobilization of government of the region, um, mobilization and willingness to, to confront these challenges together. So we've seen uh, partnership consolidated, we've seen uh, joint patrolling, we've seen uh, exchange of, uh, of intelligence information. Uh, all of this is testimony to their will to work together. And so this is a progress. Thirdly, I would say in terms of the United Nations system in the region, today the United Nations entities in the region are working together under the leadership of, I would say, my office, DPA, which gives strategic guidance to the work that this entity do in the region. We work more closely in a very coordinated manner, actually integrated manner, to produce, uh, develop together with the authorities of the region and the communities of the region, program and projects at the regional level, which we think will be key to you know, change happening in the context. We have to increase international cooperation in the fight against terrorism. No one is immune to it. And these countries of the Sahel are probably the poorest in the world and are faced with global, global challenges which have nothing to do with them which originate elsewhere. I'm talking about terrorism, narco-trafficking, uh, impact of climate change. So it's a call for more international solidarity with these countries. There is a lot of mobilization of the international community. However, we need to coordinate our action in the region for the ben benefit of the communities to have more impact and more coherence in what we do.